Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more EU4 as Scandinavia. So yes, we're going to end this war, settle things, some things up, and we'll call it good from there. So it's time for a new idea. <laughs> Religious tradition. I really don't think we need that. But sure, we'll get this thing, why not? Let's just finish the idea group. Tolerance of heretics would help. And then, uh... Not that we have any heretics, but... Okay, so we've got all of our bonuses here. Full blockade. We got a 13 last roll. Unfortunately, we didn't get a 14 and breach the walls. No peace. Not for you. Individual war score against England is pretty high already. Surprisingly. Well, the battles count toward it, that's why. And it is about battles. Apparently we haven't won enough of them yet. We're not being occupied or sieged anywhere, we're just... Well, we are. Who's this? We'll finish sieging up Flanders and piecing them out, and then we'll go fight this whole thing over here. Damn. Damn you, France. Okay, so you're definitely coming after that 7 stack. We want to keep this army here. Let's, um... Select this. I'm going to bring half of the non-cannons this way. Daniel Torgerson here can probably detach. Just a few days to get there. No leader. That's part of the problem. Somehow I got Bjorn to no longer lead troops. <coughs> when I was combining armies. Alright, so you get to um, forced march and join that fight. Surprise! We do have a commander. He's better than yours. We have one Zealand. Alright, so if we did try to do a separate piece with Flanders, who's already at low war enthusiasm. Full annexations, 206. The vassalizations, 206. So it'd be three wars no matter what. Um, let's check the personality of Hainut. They're an administrator, so they're less likely to, to buy provinces from us that they have no claim to. So if I were to take one of these in the peace deal and then try to sell it to Hainut, they'd probably say no. They probably would not accept it even though it's right next to them. So... That makes it very difficult to determine what to do with Flanders. We could just make them release Brabant. Brabant would give us at least one more core to, <clears throat> to work with. Looks like two more. That sounds good. And we got the relationship slot for it, so okay, that's that's gonna be the new mission, the new idea. You will release Brabant and give us money. And that's fine. Hmm. 
Oh, we don't want to do that. We have no military access now. Let's walk up. You were released in peace. You will definitely off accept vassalization. If we become an ally with you. So, you are not willing to accept an alliance because we're at war. As soon as the war is over, let's, um, first off, we'll send a, dip a diplomat to, to guarantee him. And now we need to try to return territory to... Or not return territory, but give territory to connect. Because we're about to core them. Or annex them, whatever it's called. Okay, um, I want to keep the siege guy with them, but Daniel here is probably sufficient. We have a 3-6. Maybe we don't, maybe we just, let's just piece England out. He will siege. Where is that? Okay. That's part of Colonial Guyana, which we have no territory in. So... I guess that's okay. Except now they're suddenly not willing to accept that. Alright. I guess we're going to have to fight someone else. We're at 37%. I think this army is going to go up to like Newmark or something. Offer themselves up to be slaughtered. Oh, you want to fight me, huh? All right, we're gonna combine. Keep Dan. No, not Burger. Damn it! Now, how on earth would it decide that Burger is the guy that they want? All right, Burger, prove yourself. We're getting the Holy War CB against the Creek. Don't tell me they're gonna reinforce. They are. Damn. Now it's Burger versus a three-six. Burger, you are a failure. We didn't ask for you. You're not the man we need or want. We want Daniel Torgerson. Torgerson. Okay, let's try this again. Combine. Nope, it seems to like Burger. Okay, Daniel, go show him how it's done. England, if you'd stop sieging my territory, I'd really appreciate it. You're supposed to sit on Irishire for a decade, remember? Rule the seas. No other nation should have a bigger fleet than we do. We need to increase the size of our fleet until we have the most ships. Sure. Who has more ships than we do right now? I should have probably checked before doing that. But The Ottomans have more heavies. Okay, well, we'll just build more heavies then. Well, we're already at our limit. Whatever, we're going to build more. How many did he have? We need ten more. Oh, that's eleven apparently. I can't count. Daniel Torgerson? No! Who's our new guy? 
Harald. A 5-6. He's just like Magnus. Let's go get him. These guys are they are dying so much faster than they used to. Remember we had like a character who lasted forever? I forget his name now, but he was important at one point. Rupert or Rickard or something. Rickard, yeah. Rickard was the man for a while. And then we forgot about him <laughs> because other people showed up. All right, we're going to turn on Forced March so we don't have to worry about these guys escaping. And we're going to go fight all these dummies. All right, 39%. Are you willing to just give me what I want? Awesome, you'll see two provinces. It's probably both of those ones down there. That sounds fine. And the aggressive expansions mostly with nobody because it's really far away. Sounds good. Although, I don't know that we can actually core these. We can. 97 months. It's too bad it's in a different colonial region. Alright, so we've got a bunch of money. We have some stuff. What to do with all this money? I don't think I'm going to do anything with it. Brabant wants an alliance. Yes, of course we want to do that. Somebody's left. Was that a leaving of the coalition or the joining of the coalition? Feels like a leaving of the coalition. So Brabant wants to be friends now. I totally accept vassalization. Let's royal marriage them. Let's wait a second. I'm totally willing to accept vassalization already. Let's just send him a gift. It's faster. I hate you, France. Have I told you lately how much I hate you? Okay, so we have another vassal. We're still at three out of four. I could have continued that war and fed stuff back to connect, and then we really need, we do need to do that in order to get them to be annexable. But let me just play this out for you. Here's how the game is going to end. Okay? It's the year 1650. We have almost 200 whole years remaining. Here's how the campaign of Scandinavia completes. We, ne we spend the next 50 to 100 years consuming the Antwerpen trade node by systematically releasing vassals from France and using their cores to take whatever we can, just like we did in the Lubick trade node. We also resolve the, the Lubick trade node by finishing off whatever we can in Brandenburg. Meanwhile, we use Connect to get whatever they have along this coast. They had more claims in the past. They had a whole bunch of them, but I guess they only have one now. Or we just force vassalize England. We do the same thing to England that we did with uh, Sweden. And then we incorporate them into our country. And then eventually Scandinavia is like this whole region. And the entire time we are hopefully getting involved with the wars that these guys are doing and continuing to colonize. Since I'm going to eventually finish this idea group and have a third uh, colonist, plus the global settlers increase, plus the vi viceroys, it actually make quite a bit more money, and our naval force would be higher. Um, we win. <laughs> Game over, we win. We went from a subservient nation under Denmark to the world superpower. There will be, in the future, some fairly significant wars with France and Poland. But we can already beat the coalition, so it doesn't matter. The coalition's not going to really get any bigger because I've been doing really well at trying to keep my annexation strategy. Um, generally, I avoid aggressive expansion. There has been 
some, and these are the ones that are the most upset about it. And this aggressive expansion was all caused, I think, when we did Sweden. So this will take about, let's see, who's the highest? 94, 116, so 116. By default, that would take about, what, 60 years to go away? But when we complete the religious ideas, we'll have better relations plus 50%, which will speed it up. So we have tons of time to make all the aggressive expansion go away. If that's not enough, we continue to expand eastward into these other trade nodes that feed into our trade route. And we use all that to further increase our income. Although at this point, most of our money is actually not coming from trade anymore. But we're making 75 gold a month. And we're only at a half of our force limit. So just imagine how, how powerful we would be on land with four leaders. Three which can be for land. I can do four for land if I needed to, but three for land, one for sea, 155 regiments, and then it's just the game's over. So as much as I'd like to continue it, it'd be another 50 videos to get to the end of the series, so I'm not going to do that. We, we've already won. It's like, it's like playing CK2 and doing World Conquest after World Conquest. It's just not necessary. So I had a lot of fun. I thought it was really challenging from the very beginning, trying to get Norway out from underneath Norway, um, out from underneath Denmark. I do think that the pivotal point in making that happen was buying out Poland from Denmark's alliance, removing Denmark, removing like their strength at that point, and turning them into our ally temporarily, was what gave us the power we needed to get out from underneath them and then become the dominant player. So sometimes loans are 100% necessary. Like you, you can, you can definitely come out ahead by taking loans. So cool. All right. Well, I will see you in the next video. I look forward to seeing you in whatever we end up playing next. And thank you so much for watching. Appreciate it as always. See you soon.